Freddie De La Cruz says Fayetteville City Hall needs some new representation and better direction. I think that the complacency that we have in our city council is really moving the, the, uh, the city in the wrong direction. But current Mayor Mitch Colvin says his three terms in office have been successful and that he still has big goals for the city. We're investing in community programs, we're standing up more mentorships given options for young people to do make right decisions versus wrong. In the primary, De La Cruz won about 21% of the vote in comparison to Mayor Colvin's 60% of the vote. De La Cruz has been running on his nearly 30 years as an officer, saying he has what it takes to crack down on the violent crime and guns impacting the city. But he also says he'll advance people's professional opportunities. I would work with industries that will bring high paying jobs into our city work with Fort Liberty and see what their uh, what, what some of the requirements they have and what kind of industries would benefit uh, not only uh, our citizens but also the, uh, the the Fort Liberty as well. Meanwhile, Mayor Colvin says he has his own action plan to prepare the next generation of workers, pointing to the work he's already doing with CCS, FSU and Fatech. Next generation jobs will include uh, artificial intelligence, it'll include cybersecurity, it'll include aerial and drone operations and a number of things that don't exist today in the capacity that it is. And so we have to plan and think forward and then we need a, a mayor and a leader who does that. Remember, voters in North Carolina are now required to bring their photo ID when casting their ballot. In Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.